When you receive an email message, you may wish to reply to that message. First Class gives you lots of options. There are two things to consider when replying to an email. If there is more than one address in the To or CC field, do I want my reply to go back to all of those people? And secondly, do I want to quote all or some of the message before I respond? The default, by clicking on the Reply button, is to not quote the previous message and to send the message to everyone that was on the sender and CC lists. This may not be what you want. If you click and hold on the Reply button on the Message toolbar, you get a number of different options. Choosing Reply with Quote will quote the entire message, but will include the CC recipient as well. If you do not want to address the message to the CC, you can manually delete the entry before sending your response. Choosing Reply Sender will remove the CC recipient, but will not quote the message. The best method for replying and quoting a message is to first select the message, or part of the message, for example. I'm going to select just the three questions, and then I can click on the Reply button. This will just quote the selected text, but as you see, the CC is also included. If you want to restrict your response to the sender only, you can combine selecting the text you want to quote and then select Reply Sender. If you find that you're using these specific options all the time, you can add those options as a toolbar button. With the Received message open, you can choose View, Toolbars, Customize Toolbars. The final selection is off the screen here, but you will see it. From here, select the Message category and drag your Options up to the toolbar, and now you have a custom toolbar. Now I can select some of the text and click on my new Reply Sender button. With First Class, you can type your responses within the quote to make it easier for your recipient to read.